Mm. You guys had awesome me brushing my teeth on camera. Why are we rushing so early in the morning? I'm talking about eating. Why? Because we have to leave in like two minutes. Okay. We're gonna leave in two minutes. We have to go to another hostel where the Katiki's leaving from. And then from there, we're on a tour all the way through into Rome. Two vloggers meet. <laughs> <laughs> that is his channel. <laughs> yeah. A little weird channel. <laughs> weird channel. So our friend Kip is on the tour. Yeah. And most people know Kip. But the issue like is Chris. the issue is he never says that his name's Kip to people. He always says his name's Chris. Because that's his real name. And I'm gonna be calling him Kip or Tour and the tour guy was like, Oh, you guys are friends of Chris. And I'm like, who the hell is Chris? <laughs> is that bus for now? Red. It's red, not blue. Red. Are we? First stop? Somewhere in France. Somewhere in France. It's Kip. Oh, Chris. He's gonna be joining us for the next 10 days. So these guys are also got their stuff on YouTube. But they're legit. They're legit. Like this one, the guy on the left's got like a mi nearly a million subs. And the guy on the right has got about 500,000 subs. He's legit. My name's Sally. I'm from Sydney, Australia, but I was living in Melbourne before this. Currently traveling with my partner and we're going through basically all of Europe. And we're also filming our stuff on YouTube. But unlike Mr. Dick Hunter here, we have very small time. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good 1 million subscribers, we've got about 35. So please subscribe, keep us up. It's practical. Something outside. Oh, that was a long bus ride. I didn't know this was a stop. We stopped, we stopped at a perfumery. Perfumery France. So we're like gonna go smell some perfume and then be gonna try and make a spy. So my name is Samantha and I will be your guide. This sort of looks like a chemistry lab. I guess it is kind of chemistry, isn't it? And now we're in the extremely large gift shop. It's the ultimate goal of our tour, I guess. Get you into the gift shop. Buy the perfume. Mm. What do you smell? <laughs> Lemon. Lemon? No, I'm all right. So. <laughs> the number four. The spicy. Dab, yeah. And then behind your ears. <laughs> like a cat. Hello, hello. I'm going to. Did you get perfume? I do. No. Bring these. We're cooking on our bags off the bus because we're all like illegally parked or something. And now I don't know where we're going. Uh, to the hostel, but I don't know where it is. I was following the group. First meal in France. Irish pub. Yeah, we went to an Irish pub in France. It was included. Your pasta. Yeah, it was included. We didn't choose to go to it. Look how much ice cream that is. So much ice cream. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's out. Good luck. Well. This is no more ice cream. <laughs> Our first day here. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Um, uh, it's hard because I have an audience behind me. That guy in his nice jacket. So I guess because it's Saturday, there is a market in this little plaza. I'm gonna call it Plaza Denise. This place is quite nice, isn't it? Nice and nice. Nice and nice. You want to retry that? Yeah, it's nice and nice. Yeah, it's nice and nice. <laughs> How's the view from here, though? I know even up there. Look, look out point yet. Yeah. Look how blue that water is, and it's really overcast. You know, it's so dumb. I want it on camera. Okay. It's nice, cool footage like this. To the next one. You gotta, gotta climb it up. <laughs> Someone say. Like... Are we almost there yet? <laughs> So you'd think we'd be fitter by now, but I don't feel like I am. Every time I walk up somewhere, I just feel like dead. We're getting this thing called soccer. This is like a chickpea pancake. We got something else that we'll show later. Unboxing. Ta-da! Yeah. So I think this is stuff that was stuffed with beef. Yes. I'm not sure. Know. It's meant to be famous. I don't know. It seems like eggplant and tomato stuffed some with some beef. Some called like Nikwas. Nikwas. Yeah. It's meant to be well known. And the thing said Nikwas. Nikwas. And it's that soccer. is soccer. Just Chickpea one pancake. Yeah, one serving. Mm. One serving. Try some. I will. Before the battery dies. Mm. 
good? Good. It's like surprisingly savory. Oh, okay. It's good. So we just like went to the old town of Nice. Um, you saw us eating food. And we're just walking through this market that's just like here. And there's so much food and stuff around that I just want to buy it all, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> really trying not to. Get a load of that Easter egg. Wait, stand next to it for scale. That means nothing. It's like as big as his head. Yeah, it's about as big as Kip's head. <laughs> Train to Monaco and Kip wanged his head. Everybody finally, it's short people here. Finally, it's not me hitting my head on things. Still only in the train station, but it looks awesome out there. So I don't think I said we just got to Monaco now. Kip's trying to find water, but it's so expensive apparently. How much is your water over there? Uh, the price. <laughs> That's dangerous. Yeah. The vending machine water, water machine, vending machine water was five euro. Now we're getting a ticket to get to the Jardin Exotique, which is our destination here right now. They're really nice tickets for like a one-use thing. Like the paper is so nice. Yeah, it's like actual cardboard. All right, that's how you get to the Jardin Exotique. You come into the only train station in Monaco. You buy a ticket at the machine, costs you 150 euros, and you take the blue bus, the number two. Yeah, no, look how sick this is. Like, look at that hill, like that cliff that it's built on as well. We're only at the train station part too. It's unreal. Just like outside the Jardin des Antiques. And holy hell, look at this view. So we've made it to, oh well, we're now in the Jardin des Antiques. It cost me 720 euro. Sally like three, 18. 380 euro because she was a student. Um, I look silly because I'm Wearing Sally's little bag it doesn't quite suit me, but this place looks really cool. So far, we've sort of come in, lost Kip somewhere, but oh well. This place is just like terrace upon terrace of cacti, just zigzags down, and I think we entered a cave or something. So wrinkly. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's an old one. <laughs> uh, that's so big. You're worth a lot of money. Look at your favorite big fish. Check it out. It's Monaco. That part's really cool there. It's where the rich people live. Yeah. This is what we're waiting to do. Go down into the caves. 300 steps apparently. Descending into the cave. Natural light. So we've taken the bus now down to the Monte Carlo. Or down to Monte Carlo. Is Monte Carlo a region, like a suburb here? Because I think, so. I think the whole thing is that. yeah, I think this is Monte Carlo and whole. Anyway, there's a big old casino here. And I think that's it over there, that big old building. Oh, yeah. Um and first we're gonna get some food because we are hungry. And the only thing we can probably afford in Monaco. McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> so, we're gonna go there. So, that's the casino. So, I don't know how far I'm gonna get with this. Cause I thought it's a compulsory cloakroom for camera. So I don't know if I can actually take it into the casino. We're in like the little lobby area, I guess. And yeah, it's insane in here. That's about as far as we get here. It's the palace. I show you where the prince lives, right? Yeah. Like yeah. it's a principality of Monaco, so the prince must live here. Is there a prince in the principality? Well, there has to be. Does it not be? No. I don't know. Principality, principality just normally just means like a small country. Yeah. With a prince. Well, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say the prince lives here. Let's see who's in charge of Monaco. You don't Monaco say that, you don't say that on camera. The Principality of Monaco is a sovereign city state and microstate on the French Riviera in Western Europe. Official language is French, they speak Italian. 
Roman Catholics, they're a parliamentary constitutional monarchy, so... They have a monarchy? They have a monarchy, so they... Yeah, their monarch is Albert II, who is... King. Probably the king. Prince. <laughs> Albert II, the reigning monarch of the Principality of Monaco. Head of the princely house of Grimaldi, he's prince? the son of Prince Rainer the Third. Prince, son of the prince. And the American actress Grace Kelly. No, but oh, really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's son of Prince and Grace Kelly. He's the son. Yeah. So, so the he's a prince. They don't have a king. Like they a don't prince. have a king. Interesting. Prince Albert the Second is one of the wealthiest royals in the world, with assets valued at more than one billion, Ooh. which include land in Monaco and France. Although Prince Albert does not own the Prince's Palace of Monaco. Oh. And that's the fun facts of Monaco and principalities. Now we're like on the other side of Monaco. Pretty sure we started from like up over here somewhere. And the bus took us like all the way around. I have never seen an Aston Martin store in my life. And right next to it is a Ferrari dealership. It also says no photography. And then next to that is a Rolls Royce dealership. Then you go past a Chinese restaurant, you find a McLaren dealership. Next to that is a smart car, which is pretty lame. Don't know who half these players are, but it's like a footprint thing from all these famous um, footballers. footballers. Oh, I know that guy. Everyone knows Pele. Okay. Now we're just sitting on the beach. The rest of the group's gone to the casino. And yeah, we got, we've already been, so we got like half an hour to kill, so we came down to the beach. It's really pretty down here. Yeah, let's end it in creepy light. <laughs> yeah, shine it up. <laughs> so this is where we're gonna end the vlog. No, do creepy light again. <laughs> we're gonna end the vlog here. We hope you enjoyed our time here in Monaco. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Ooh, ha 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 ha.